What's up, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Quay Myers here, and today I'm going to be showing y'all how to braid your locks into cornrows by yourself. First couple things you're going to need is uh, two devices to where you can see the side and the back of your head. That's what I'm doing now, trying to get the right angle. The two devices I used was an iPhone and a uh, Mac MacBook computer, laptop, whatever y'all want to call it, same thing. Y'all know how it go. Bear with your boy. And also, what you're going to want to do is you're going to wet your hair. I didn't show myself wetting my hair, but what you're going to do is you're going to wet your hair till it's completely, completely drenched. I mean, soaking, soaking wet, and just use a, you know, use a towel just to damp it off for a little bit so you can work. Sort of make it easier for you when you braid, you know, give you less of a headache. And you may need a spray bottle later because, you know, it's going to take time for you to get to one side to the next. So just keep that in mind. So right now, the first step, what I'm doing now after I got my camera set up, all I'm doing pretty much is I'm using my rubber bands just to separate my hair. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to line it up. All right, so now that I have my hair in a ponytail, now I'm just trying to organize and see how many columns or rows. I'm not sure which terminology I would use for this, but I'm just trying to see how many rows or columns of my locks should I use for this first braid. I braided my hair once before, so I kind of already have like an idea how I want to do it. But just to help y'all a lot, the way y'all can do it is put your hair in a ponytail and take kind of like two rows of your locks out. So I'm taking the first row that's like closer to my ear and then I'm removing the locks from my ponytail one by one so I can see the direction I'm going. And I put two rows. So as you can see, that'll be enough for me to make my, four, <clears throat> my first corn row. Sorry, y'all, my first corn row. So that's what I'm going to do now. And then I'm going to put the remainder of my hair in tight ponytails just so I can work and get right. All right, so to start off your corn rows, you want to braid the first three locks that you come across. So right now, I'm just deciding which three locks I want to use, and then I'm going to start braiding them. And to braid, you pretty much need three locks, and you just crisscrossing your locks from left to right, left to right. And once you braid them in a backwards direction, you want to make sure you leave some space off of your locks so it can connect to the next three locks. For example, what I'm trying to show y'all now is that I started the braid, but I didn't finish it because I'm going to use the next three locks to line up with the three locks that I already have. All right, so to line it up, you want to grab the next three closest locks and you want to connect them to all three of the locks you started. So I'm connecting one to the far left, the one in the middle, and the last one I just grabbed, I'm connected that one to the right. And then once I have a good grip, I just braid it backwards. So you're not really braiding it down yet. It's pretty much still a plait, but you just want to begin to pull it in a backwards motion. And once you braid it a few times, you want to make sure you leave some of your locks off, as I'm showing you now, so you can connect it to the next three locks, what I'm about to do. And it's the same method. You're going to grab the next three locks. You're going to grab a lock from the left, the middle, and the right or the right, middle, and the left, however where you go. So for this, I'm actually starting with the right. So I grab the open lock to the right, connected it to my braid. I'm not really connecting it, I'm just holding them together, which is the most confusing and hard part. Now I'm trying to line it up in the middle, so I'm seeing which of those two locks will work better. So I'm using that one, since I can see. I'm connecting that one to the middle. And then the last lock on the left, I'm grabbing that one to the left. And then now I'm just braiding it back. This is the confusing part because you have so many locks in your hand, you might lose your rhythm. But just continue to braid, continue to pull and continue to braid. 
but you don't want to braid it all the way. You want to leave some breathing room again, and it's the same method. So you want to grab your next three closest locks and hold them together with the three that's in the braid. For this situation, I had three locks remaining, which is good. It makes it easier on my part, but sometimes you may come across four locks, and you may have to combine two into one direction. So for this one, I grabbed the closest one to the left. I braided it again, actually, because... The locks were pretty long. I wanted them to get a little bit shorter before I connect the rest. And then I connected the following one in the middle. And then that last one, I'm going to connect to the right. I just braid it down a little bit more. And just to combine that last lock that I see, I put it with the far right side since I never put it to the right to begin with. And then now the braid is pretty much finished. I'm just braiding it down. And once you finish the braid, you can just grab like a smaller rubber band. And then once you get to a good stop, small, tiny one, you want to grab and attach your rubber it band on. and put it on. So I'm using two different rubber bands. I'm using the tiny rubber ones. And, and yeah, the braid isn't like pretty, but the goal like is just to, you know, get the hair out your face. One just to hold the your ponytails in the place. The and this one I'm actually so you can keeping to my hair. And this hot floor to wear. rubber one. Or wherever you may live. I know it gets hot everywhere. <clears throat> I know it gets hot everywhere, but this is something that can, you know, help you out if you're trying to do something real quick to get your day started. Now, as y'all can see, this braid ain't pretty now. This tutorial, you know, this this moment isn't to, you know, try to make it look flashy and pretty. If you wanted to make your cornrow look pretty, I suggest you just go to a loctician. That'll make your life so much easier. I personally made this video because I thought I was, <clears throat> I thought it was cool, you know, to help others learn how to cornrow their hair. Because I live in Florida. It'd be real hot outside and sometimes I really don't want my locks covering my face. I need some breathing room. Plus, I'm starting this new skincare routine. I'm going to drop a video on that, too. But, yeah, so sometimes I just like to have my locks out of my face, especially in this short phase, you know, throughout this lock journey. But, anywho, next I'm going to the the next braid. So, I'm going to be doing four corn rolls. <clears throat> four corn rolls. So, I'm doing one right here, two on the left, two on the right. But the one, the next uh, braid that I'm about to do is going to be a lot, a lot more locks. So, this one's going to be a lot challenging. The first one just a warm up, but this one is where it's going to be like the most challenging for you. So what I'm doing now, I'm parting my hair. So I'm trying to put like a straight line in between the left and the right side. So I'm using my front camera and then I'm using this camera to try to make a straight line is the best way I can. Remember, the goal is to just remove the hair out your face, give your face some breathing room by putting your locks in the cornrows. I'm not trying to make it pretty. It'll be nice if you're good at it to make it look real pretty by doing it yourself. Hoorah! <laughs> but me personally, I'm just trying to get the hair out of my face, and I thought it'd be cool to do it myself because, you know, sometimes it, it'll be dumb to pay money, you know, just to get it braided. <clears throat> Moving forward. All right, so in order for me to do this next braid, this next cornrow, I got to start from the front. So this will be the most challenging part of them all because you got to work your way from the front. So for this one, Having your uh your camera on the back of your head really ain't going to help you as much. It really can't help you at all, actually. I'm sorry. But for this one, I'm a little bit more experienced because I've braided my hair into cornrows before. So I kind of know what to do. But for, you know, someone who's just their first time trying to do it, I suggest you use your bathroom mirror instead of trying to use your, you know, your iPhone camera or whatnot. It'll be best to just start in your bathroom. That way you can get a good view. So now what I'm doing, I'm using the same method I used before. I'm braiding the first three into like a backwards plait. It's not even braiding down yet. And that's pretty much how you braid. I'm going to show you the rhythm of how you braid. You just grab three locks and you just go from left to right, left to right. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do now. And I have a lot of new growth, so that's what makes it a little bit more confusing. But as you can see, I started to braid. It's pretty much just a backwards plait. And I'm leaving a little bit of breathing room so I can remove the next three locks out of that ponytail to continue to braid. So once you put the first uh, three locks into enough braid to where it is, you know, it'll stay still to where it won't move.
I actually readjusted this one. I actually braided it down a little bit more because my locks were getting into my eye to where I couldn't see. So I braided it a little bit more. And I still had enough breathing room to connect to the next three locks. So that's what I'm doing. I'm showing y'all now. So what I'm doing now, I'm grabbing the next three closest locks. So that's the first one. That's the closest one next. That's the next one out of that ponytail. And that's the next one. Because I'm trying to stay according to that part that I put in the middle of my head. So those are my next three locks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the braid. <clears throat> get my hands into a comfortable position where I can start. And then I'm going to grab the next lock. Put it together with that first lock on the left. Then I'm going to grab the next one. Put it in the middle. Hold those two together. That's what I'm doing now. And then for that last one, I'm going to grab it and hold those two together. The one that's hanging across my forehead. Yep, I'm going to hold those two together. Now, once I got a good grip, I'm just going to continue to braid. Now, once I braid those and I have enough breathing room, To connect to the next three that's what i'm showing you now is braided now i'm showing you how much breathing room i have left the tricky part is when the original three locks that you started with begin to get smaller they begin to kind of like uh distract you so once you got majority of the braid corn roll you may have to freestyle but that's later on in the video next we're gonna since i braided as much as i can see from the front mirror or I was using my iPhone, but for you it'll be the front mirror. Once you can braid back as far as you can see, then you want to go back and you know you want to FaceTime yourself or whatnot and show the back of your head. As you can see, that's what I'm doing now. And right now I'm just grabbing the next three locks so I can connect them to the braid. And FYI, I'm not gonna lie, your shoulder's gonna be hurting, y'all. So <laughs> be well. So right now what I'm doing, I'm looking for the next three locks. And actually for this situation. Since I have more locks that I'm using for this actual corn roll, this braid, I'm going to actually have four. That can be confusing. So if you come to a situation where you have four locks that are in a perfect position for you to continue your braid, you're going to have to improvise. So for this one, this is where it gets challenging. Instead of me grabbing one lock and connecting, I'm going to have to use two for one position. So what I'm doing now, I'm getting my hands in a good ready position, a good grip, so I can continue my braid. Once I got it organized, I use my camera. It's like, okay, where's my lock? And I'm going to connect them. See, I'm holding that one to the right. I'm going to connect that lock with that one. Then the two furthest to the left, those will be the two that I connect. So it'll be three on that side. And then I'm going to connect that extra one right there with the one on the right. So this is where it can confuse them. Because it's like when you're braiding it, you kind of, you can kind of lose your rhythm real easy. So the best way I can tell you to do it, when, when if you feel like, <clears throat> I'm sorry, if you feel like you have too many locks, just go with the flow and freestyle. Because right here, I can't really say that I had it all in perfect shade and form. But I made sure I kept the braid going. Because the confusing part is when the original locks that you started with begin to get small, <clears throat> begin to get small, it confuses you. So just get it the best way you can and then move on to the next three locks and connect them and continue to braid and just get it the best way you can. Also, at this point, it begins to get challenging because once you get to a certain part of your head with the corn roll, you can't let that you can't let that braid go because if you let it go, it, it can unravel, and then you'll just have to start all the way over. So once you get the braid going, you're gonna have to hold it, even if you need to take a break and lean, just to let your shoulders get a rest. Do it. <clears throat> but yeah, so I'm sticking with the same method. I'm pulling out three locks from the ponytail, and then I'm I'm combining them with the furthest one to the right, which is what I'm doing now. It's going to get challenging. I'm pretty used to it, but for somebody first time, holding that many locks at one time, trying to keep it in a position is hard. So what I'm doing now, I connected the furthest one to the right. I grabbed the, the one in the middle with the one in the middle, the one to the left with the one to the left, and then I just begin to braid them. It's really just going to be scribble scrabble at this point because, you know, the goal is to just braid your locks back so you can have some breathing room so you can show your face, get some of that sunlight, 
you know, keep your locks out your face. It won't be as pretty, you know, as you may like, but it'll be, it's like a good, you know, as the ladies say, protective style. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Now I'm just measuring it up. I'm trying to see how far I got. My shoulder's kind of tired, too, so that's another thing. Yeah, I'm tired right here. <laughs> yeah, your shoulder's going to be tired, y'all, so you may have to take breaks, but do not, I repeat, do not let the braid go. Once you get to a certain spot, you can't let it go because if you let it go, it's going to unravel. You're going to lose your grip, and you're going to have to start all the way over. So now at this point, my shoulders are burning. So now I'm going to move a little bit fast. But I'm using the same method. I grab my next three locks. I put it with the furthest, the one to the left, the other one in the middle, and then the one on the right with the lock on the right is what I'm doing now. See, I'm holding together. Now I got a good grip. I'm going to just braid them back. And you just continue to braid them back until you see yourself losing, like, breathing room. When I say breathing room, the extra length on your lock to connect to the next one. Because you don't want to braid it too small to wear it doesn't even continue the next braid and you have, you know, you just mess yourself up. So, yeah, just take momentarily breaks if you got to. Right here, as you, as you can see, my shoulder's burning. And now I'm using the same method. I'm using the camera just to see what next three locks is closest to the braid. I'm combining them, I'm braiding it back, braiding it back. The hardest part is keeping your grip, especially when you're working with more locks. As you can see, I'm tired again. <laughs> I pretty much got the hard part of the way, <clears throat> the hard part out of the way, which is like the crown of your head going over the hump. I'm over the hump. Now I'm going down to the back of my head. Now I'm starting to the corn roll the braid down. And it's easy at this point because I have all the shorter locks that was from the front of my head. They are the way they're tucked in and braided. And now the longer locks in the back are easier to braid. Now I'm moving a little bit faster since I got the hard part out of the way. And it's the same method. I'm grabbing the next three closest locks, put one to the right, one in the middle, one to the left. And then I'm just braiding them together. But remember, you got to leave a little bit of uh, length, a little bit of breathing room so it can connect to the next locks. And that's all I'm doing. At this point, the braid is pretty much over, but my shoulders are still burning. Beware, your shoulders will burn. <laughs> Yep, it's the same method. The next three closest locks. Match them up. Braid them down. And then the closer you get to the back, it's just even more easier. Because it's like kind of give your shoulders a break. You can lean back. You don't really have to hold your head in a weird position. At this part, it's easy money right now. Also, you may need your spray bottle because it's going to take a while to get these few braids out of the way, especially if it's your first time. So you may have to spray the other side of your hair to make sure it's nice and soft and easier for you to braid. Because if you try to braid your locks while they're kind of dry and stiff, it's going to be extra hard to keep them still and in place. So the best way to do it is with your hair. Depending on what type of hair you got. I got 4C hair, so I need water 24-7, <laughs> three times a day. <laughs> for real. And right here, I noticed that I connected the wrong lock. So I was being a perfectionist and I pulled it out, but if you so happen to overcross that median line that you made for yourself, it's all good. The goal is just to braid your hat back so you can breathe, you know, 
and give your face a break. Because I live in Florida. This heat is serious, y'all. And I finished that break. Now I'm just putting a little small rubber band on it. Just to seal it off. And if you look at the braid, they're not pretty. They're not pretty at all. It just It's just enough to get the job done. And I'm doing it myself, so that's just something I like to do. But, you know. And that's pretty much it, y'all. That's the video, man. That's how you corn roll your hair. That's how I did mine. Just make sure you wet your hair. Make sure you got two type of devices where you can FaceTime yourself so you can see the back of your head. And it ain't going to come out pretty, but if you just need to do something real quick to get your hair out your face, this is what I do. You know, it's hot in Florida. I try to keep my face clear. I got this new skin routine. <clears throat> this new skin routine is going to come out, so y'all might like that. But other than that, man, it's your boy Quay Myers. I just taught y'all how to corn roll your locks. Just to get it out your face, you know what I'm saying? Give yourself a breather. But if y'all want to tune in and watch how the outcome look, y'all can check that out. But that's it, man. If y'all watching this, like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Quay Myers, y'all. Goodbye.